Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate this butterfly. We're going to animate the butterfly uh, with a constraint, um, follow a path constraint, uh, and while it's flapping its wings. So there's two animations, the actual butterfly going across the screen, following a path, and the wings flapping. So before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and pause the animation and show you uh, what we've got. This is the body of the uh, butterfly and we have a path that this butterfly is following. As it moves across the screen, it's going along that path uh, and flapping its wings. The wings are following the body because they are parented and here they are parented to the body and also if you noticed this butterfly changes color towards the end of the animation it goes from blue to purple pretty cool uh, and so guys I saw a comment um, I had done a video of this one animate objects on a path and I just did this paper airplane flying across the screen and somebody asked me can this work on a bird or a butterfly or something that's already moving and sure it can and I'm going to show you how to do it on this video all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to go ahead and open the startup file Here's a startup file. This is a grease pencil object. The wing is a grease pencil object. Show you the mesh. I've got a video showing you how to illustrate. Uh, this is the video illustration in Blender. Uh, and so you can illustrate this butterfly easy here in Blender. Or you can bring in a PNG or an SVG. I also have another video showing you how to bring in PNGs or SVGs. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and make a duplicate of this wing. Uh, Shift D and right click to cancel that movement. So we've got, uh, this will be the left wing, wing Let's name it LT for left, and then let's name this one RT for right. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and uh, get the, uh, I'm going to stop this at frame 60, zoom in on the timeline, move it over. For some reason, I've got a keyframe here at frame zero, and I don't remember doing it. Anyways, I'm going to move this frame to frame one. I am at frame one. I've got the right wing selected. I am going to turn on auto keyframe. And in fact, I am going to rotate just a little bit so that I can start this um, not at 90 degrees, just a little bit open like that uh, at one. At frame three, I am going to bring this wing all the way down. And at frame, not six, I think it's gonna take a little longer for it to get back. At frame eight, I'm gonna bring it all the way back. Well, almost all the way back. There it is. Uh, on the left wing, I'm gonna do the same. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in a little. I'm gonna bring this to frame one. And I am going to open up that wing just a little bit frame three go all the way down and then frame eight come all the way back up just like that cool and so if you see the animation there's one flap right there boom uh, and so the next thing I'd like to do is add a modifier to loop this animation the flapping wings to loop it all 
across the timeline. So let's open up uh, the graph editor. And here is my object. I'm going to isolate the rotation in the X. Here it is. Hit the home key uh, so that I can see the whole thing. Zoom out a bit. And then open up the open up the options here and go to the modifiers tab and uh, what I like to do is add a modifier that is the cycles modifier and that will loop it all the way to San Jose check this out so I'm gonna hit play and that one is already uh, flapping all throughout the animation let's do the same for the other one uh, the other wing Let's uh, open up all these attributes and turn everything off and isolate the rotation in the X. Hit the home key to zoom in. And then I'd like to go ahead and add a modifier and let's add a cycles modifier. And you can see that this one is a little bit off, but all I have to do is grab that uh, keyframe and push it down and align it to that curve. And then um, that's it. The wings have been animated throughout the entire timeline, which is 60 seconds. I mean, 60 frames. Cool. The next thing that we need to do is go ahead and parent them because right now, uh, if, if you move the body, the wings don't go with it. Undo. And so the next thing is to parent these wings to the body. So what we need to do is Select the wing, first the body, and then the wings, uh, and then hit Command P to parent, and then object, set parent to object, and keep transform. And so once you grab that body and you want to move it, the wings will go with it. That's cool. And of course, if it's actually playing, you will see that the that the wings have been animated to flap all throughout the timeline cool the next thing next step is to create a path I'm gonna hit the zero to take me to my camera view go all the way to the beginning and I'd like to go ahead and create a path so I'm gonna to go to the add menu I'm gonna to go to the curves and add a bezier curve and there's my curve. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna actually move it. I'm gonna move it uh, out, out of the frame, so that it, this butterfly can start off screen and then come into the frame, fly around and then and then fly off frame. So we've got the curve here. I'm gonna hit Tab to go to Edit Mode. Grab this uh, point. Uh, and make sure to have my move tool on and I can start moving this curve um, wherever I want it so if I grab this handle I can bring this curve and edit it as I go so I'm gonna click on that point that vertex and do uh, E to extrude and then I'm going to make it go like this and then I'm going to move this you can modify this path. I'm gonna go like this and then and then like it's gonna go all the way up here and then down. So E to extrude E to extrude E to extrude again and then E to extrude down and again. And I kind of want it like that um, just varied. And so the butterfly will fly along this path. Cool. That's that. Uh, and so now let's go ahead and select the body. And we're going to apply a constraint modifier. Object constraint. And so we're going to apply an object constraint modifier. And it's the follow path constraint modifier. So I'm going to click on this and nothing happens except for the for the wings what we need to do is tell it the target path 
so it doesn't know what to follow. Click on the eyedropper and then click on this path and then you'll see the butterfly jump right to the beginning of that path, which is cool. And then I'm going to click play and nothing happened. It doesn't go. I'm going to turn off auto keyframe. Uh, and that's and that's because it um, we haven't animated anything. We just we just attached it to the path. And so the way we animate it is the offset. Let's click on on frame one. Let's go ahead and click uh, to create a keyframe on frame one. And then all the way to the end at frame sixty. Let's change this to negative one hundred enter and then make sure that we click a, a keyframe on that so if we go all the way to the beginning and hit play now it follows that path now it does follow that path and maybe it's a little bit fast we can always add uh, frames and I can always move this one wherever I want maybe to 80 A little bit more a little slower all right cool uh, and the next step that I'd like to do is add a little bit more realism to this butterfly by adding some uh, movement up and down check this out so I've got the body selected I am going to get this offset path and then I'm going to hit home and there's my offset from 0 to 80 and I am going to apply a modifier and this modifier will be the noise modifier and if I zoom in you can see that it it's a little bit wavy I'm just gonna crank up the strength here so you can see it and that's going to like make it jittery it just that's a little bit of realism you can you can see it more right here see how jittery it is you can't see it too much but it adds a little bit of realism and we're done with the animation we're done it, it was that easy now let's change the color to it I'm gonna hide this we don't need the uh, we don't need the uh, graph editor anymore and I'm gonna say um, maybe around frame 135 this wing I'm gonna to go to the materials um, and I'm gonna to go to this purple color and right at frame 35 well you know what maybe at around frame 45 I am going to keyframe this base color boom right there I'm gonna move all the way to the end about 75 keyframe it and then change it to a purple right there right there make sure that it is keyed right there and, and you will see that change from blue to purple now let's change that light blue the blue let's keyframe it at 45 and at frame 75 we're going to change it to this pink and then make sure that it is it is keyed and then let's test it out hit play it's going it's going and then it changes color beautiful and that's it guys uh, the only thing I need to do now is turn on this background hide the curve And that's it if you notice it does change color and it, the color change starts right about there and changes to purple hey guys I hope that this has been helpful to you uh, if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys